Welcome back to Kevin Kusim. I'm so excited to have you in today's what video. Let's look at what stoichiometry. Now, stoichiometry is the calculation aspect of chemistry that deals with the calculation of what of the amount of of a substance formed in a chemical reaction, or the amount of what of the products, the amount of reactant that produces a certain amount of what of products. So it's the calculation of aspect, and a lot of students find issues with this type of what calculation. Now, over some year two, year three students or higher institution students find issues with this type of calculation. So in this video, I will be showing you two different methods in solving this type of what calculation. Please make sure you stick to the end of this video. And I want this video to be interactive. Is it, if this video is helpful, always give it a like and leave your comment at the comment section. It goes a long way to make you to understand that uh, this video is helpful and keep on recommending this video to other persons. It's very, very important to do that. Please, that is the only thing I want you to do for me. Like, comment, and if you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and stick to the end of this video. On that thing, yes, can watch, you can share the video to your friends who will be needing this kind of what, content. So let's get into it. So how do we solve this type of question? Now, when you see this kind of question here, yeah, there are two main things to be looking at. Now, the mass of the substance or the mole of the substance given to you and the one you are calculating for. In the sense that they say calculate the mass of iron. This is what mass of iron. I get calculate the mass of iron that we produce from 10 grams of what iron 3 oxide. Iron 3 oxide. Now, so our point of focus here is going to be on these two. Do you get that? So the first thing you want to do here is to watch right out what the mass of here. So the mass of iron 3 oxide was given to me. So mass. Mass of Fe2O3, which is what 10 gram, 10 what gram, and we have been asked to look for the mass of what iron. So, mass of iron of what iron is what we are looking for. Do you that? So, the next thing you want to do here is to look for the relationship between two of them. Now, this is a balanced relationship. Balanced chemical what equation, right? So one mole of iron three oxide is equal to two mole of what iron. So you write it out. So here we have one mole of what Fe2O3 is equal to what uh, uh two mole of what Fe. Can you see that? So that is after I write on that, you have to do what this one here. Now, if it involves what uh relationship here, like a mass, mass or mole. The next you want to do here is so what? Look for the molar mass of these compounds. Okay. So molar mass of what Fe2O3. Molar mass of what Fe2O3. It's also what. Now, what is the atomic mass of iron? Atomic mass of iron is what? 56. So let be 56 times 2. 56 times 2 plus. Also, this one is 16. It's going to be 16 times 3. Do you see that? So if you should do the calculation, so let me 160. It's going to be uh, 160 gram per mole. Remember, the units of molar mass is what gram per mole. Do you that? So what does this gram per mole mean? It means that for every one mole of iron 3 oxide, I have about 160 gram of what iron 3 oxide. That is mean. So whenever you see uh, uh, 16 gram per mole, what does it mean that one mole is also what 16 what gram? That is meaning this, this is that. So it means that this one means that uh 160 gram of what Fe2O3 is equal to what one mole of what Fe2O3. Now, this is what for what iron 3. What about for iron? I is what is 56 gram per mole. So atomic mass, atomic mass of what F is equals what uh, 50, 50, 56 gram per mole. This that it means that for uh one for 56 gram of what of F E is equals what one mole of what F E. This is that. So before you can do before you can start solving this question here, now you prefer for write it out, and it's very easy. 
So for the question here, yeah, mass of air e to which we must give you, right? I did what the switch look for. How do I get this one? I got this one from the balance what equation for the what balance equation. Then how do I get this one here? For the molar mass of what m e to h one of the stuff here. Do that. So you got is what 160 gram per mole. Do that. For the balance for this one here, for every 160 gram of what? For every 160 gram of what f e to o three is what? Because of what one mole. Do that. The same thing with what I know. So here I have what this relationship I'm going to make is of. I have this relationship I want, I'm going to work, make it of. And also I have this guy here. So these are stuff I'm going to use in my calculation. So I'm going to use dimension analysis. I want to use what dimension analysis. So I want to use dimension analysis here. Remember, we are starting with what? 10 gram of what? Fe2O3. This is that. It's called dimension analysis. I'm going to, give, I'm going to teach you two methods. After dimension analysis, I'm going to teach you other methods. So that you can pick the one you can what easily what use in your what exam. So let me look at this guy here. So we are calculating what? Mass of what? Fe. Mass of Fe. So you're going to be mass of what? Fe is equals to. Now, we are starting what? 10 gram of what? Fe to O3. So here you're going to be 10 gram of what? Fe to O3 over 12 times. Now, I will now move toward to the mass of what? Fe to O3. Do that. So I move toward to the mass of what? Fe to O3. If I move to the air, this is that. So here we have 160 gram of what? Fe to O3 equals to 1 mole of what? Fe to O3. So I will now bring it here. So because gram is already at the top, 160 gram of Fe to O3 will what? Come to it down. Then one mole of what? Fe to O3 will go to the top. So that can go easily cancel. So here we have 1 mole of what? Fe to O3 over 160 gram of what? Fe to O3. Now the main reason is that so that this we cancel out what this guy here. It's called dimension of what analysis times. Now what what I have here is what is the mole. Then I'll now come to this one here because mo, one mole of Fe to O3 here. I have what one mole here. Just that. So what happened here? This one goes to the down. Why so move to the top? So it'll be two mole of what Fe Fe yes. Two mole of Fe over what one mole of what Fe to O3. This that. So that this one will cancel out this guy here. This that. I don't have any other space here yet. So I write it down times. Remember, it continues. This this that. Now I'm gonna come to the last one. Yeah, 56 gram of what Fe, which will iron equals to one mole of what Fe. This that mole of F mole of Fe is already at the top here. So what can happen here? I have one mole of what Fe. You see that? Yeah, yeah, 56 gram of what Fe. You see that? So this one we cancel out this guy here. This is that. So in this sense, I've used I've used this guy. I've used one here. I've used it. I've used it. Remember, our final destination must move towards gram of what Fe. So you can see that. After doing that, after doing that, what are you going to get? Here yeah, I've got 10 times 2 times 50, what, 6 gram. This is that. I'll do 10 to the what, 56 gram of what? Of Fe. Over here, yeah, I have what 160. Do you got that? So 160. So I want to wipe, wipe out this space here. So if I should wipe out this place, so it's going to be mass, mass of Fe. So let's multiply and divide by what 160. Let's see what you're going to get. So it's what seven. So mass of F is going to be what seven what gram. That is the what answer. So this method is called dimension analysis method. So many students have issues with understanding this one here. You get that. So that is why I'm going to first show you the next method. The next method, I believe students understand that method. 
first time I used for that word, method yet. But as, as a chemistry student, you must understand both method. You will not say you don't understand it, so yeah, you, you, uh, you don't to uh, follow it up. Do that. Now, just follow what I've done and follow through, you are able to what, get your answer. Just arrange unit, unit. In dimension analysis here, you only arrange units in a way they will cancel out each other, left with the desire what you need. So, if you are not following my my lectures on, or if you have not watched my videos on dimension analysis, where I cheated how to convert from a mass, volume, area, and length. So please, I will, I will advise you to check out those videos because those videos will actually will give you a broad understanding or a better understanding when it comes to what dimension, what analysis, converting what units. And this one here, yeah, we are still going to use it in our future videos. So that's why it's very, very important to understand this. So the answer is what? A seven gram. Do you have? Another reason why I love this picture is that within one line, most can uh, write out the relationship as within one line, so you can what? If you know how to what arrange you so they can, they can cancel each other. What will happen here? You can easily what get your answer. But I'm going to show you what the second method. Let me move to the second method now. Let's move to the second method. Let me move to the second method. In the second method, yeah, you want to write out what because you are focusing on these two things here. So you have mole and what mass. Do you get mole and what mass? So yeah, because our our point of paper is the both of them. Do you get now we are looking for the mass of air it produces when ten gram is what is reacted. Do you get that? So yeah, how many mole do we have here? Here we have one mole. Here we have what two what mole. Here you have what one more, two more. If you don't understand that first method, please place on here. I believe you understand what this method is. So how do I get my mass? I get my mass from the balance from what from the what molar mass of this company here. Remember, we have calculated the molar mass of what? Molar mass. Molar mass of what? Fe203 to the to what? 160 what gram. Do you get we have done that before? So there's no point of we doing that again. 160 gram. Power what mole? If you have for every one mole of what Fe two O three, I got one sixty gram of what Fe two O three. Do that. So yeah, we answer here. So I I got point mass here. How many moles we have here? We have what one. So you got to be two times. So for every one mole of what Fe two O three, I got one sixty. So one times one sixty got to be one sixty what gram. If my my gram of what F it to is what one sixty. This is called balance what balance mole balance of mass. Remember here we have Fe. The atomic mass atomic mass of what F is supposed to be what fifty six gram per mole. Do that. Now for every one mole of what uh, F E about fifty six gram of what F E. Do you see that? Hope you understand. So, but how many moles do we have here? Here we have two moles. Two what moles? So it would be two times fifty six. Two times fifty six. Here have one one two what gram. So once once you can get this one here, you have solved close to seventy percent of the question. I know that you'll be happy, right? So uh, you have solved seventy percent of the question. The next one to do now is this. Don't watch me closely. You see how easy this method look like. So the next you want to do here, remember mass of iron ion two was I what ion two was I was given, right? So mass 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 of what F E two O three is what ten gram, right? And we look for what mass mass of what F E. Do you get this is what you are looking for? It means that the relationship, look at something, it means that the relationship is mass to mass relationship. That means, I want to use mass of what ion 3 was idea. Now, what is mass of ion 3 was idea? It's 160. So, it's going to be 160 gram of what Fe203 is equal to what? Now, because I'm calculating what mass of ion, I'll come here, I will what, use what mass of ion, which is what 112 gram. Do that. So, you have 112 gram of what? F E. Can you see that? So now remember what what I'm calculating. What I'm calculating. Remember they give us 10 gram of, of ion 3 was I right? So that'll be 10 gram of what 
iron 3 or zinc. Remember, I look for what mass of what Fe. So it will be S gram of what Fe. Do you get that? So when it goes like this, you want just cross multiply. We want to now you want to use something like this 160 gram of what Fe2O2 over 10 gram of what Fe2O3. Right? Equals to what? 112 gram of what? Fe over what? S gram of what? Fe. Do that. Because that gram will cancel this one here, then this will cancel this one here. So what we left is what? 160 gram over what? 10 equals to what? So 160. What we left is what? Is 160 over what? 10 equals to what? Uh, 112 over what? X. If you want to make a cell formula here, what do we have here? We have x equals to uh, 10 times 112 over what? 160. So let's see our answer. So you have 7. Go to what? 7 what? Gram. This is that. You can see how easy it is to what? Use what? This method. You, you get that? So this is called uh, direct combination method. So uh, I've taught you two methods now. We have one called dimension analysis method. I will tell you what direct combination method. So whichever method you want to use in the exam, go through this video again. Go through this video again and, and look at the method and see the one that is much easier for you. So I would like to hear from you. If this video is helpful, please leave at the comment section that this video is helpful. I don't want to do any other question again. If this video is helpful, please only leave it a like and give it a comment that uh, this video is helpful. And um, which of the methods you think you can use or can, is very easier to use? Leave it at the comment section. Which one do you understand faster? Leave it at the comment section. So let me place one question for you. Now, what I want to do here, I'm, I'm only going to change the values, the words. But I want to change this one to 28 gram. Do you get that? I want to change one to 28 grams. So go ahead and solve this question. Leave your answer at the comment section. Please, I will produce more of this video here. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Only leave your like and comment at the comment section. Share this video to other persons. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.